Hi everybody, thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot and I'm Diana. This reading is going to be for the astrological sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or anywhere Aries appears in your birth chart. This reading will be for you. It's also a very special reading, even though it's the mid-monthlies. It is for the full moon of September 2019, which is a Friday the 13th. It is the harvest moon. Uh, it is in Pisces. And so that's going to mean quite a bit for everybody involved. It's a time for us to uh, let go of the lessons that we learned since the summer solstice and to um, reap in all the rewards that we've been working on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with this reading, okay? All right. What are the messages for Aries for full moon, September 13, 2019? What are the love messages for this special full moon? for Aries September 2019 what are the messages for Aries for this full moon in September 2019 okay I'm going to go ahead and shuffle a little more like this shuffle a couple different ways so that they don't always seems like they come out the same so much uh, I guess a lot of people have had the same type things going on all right okay I'm gonna go ahead and divide them up bottom of the deck is the two of pentacles reversed all right now this little guy right here is going to be the overall energy for this particular reading okay so when he's in reverse you know he's this way he seems as if he doesn't care and he's only focused on himself so thank goodness he's this way which means that um you're now able to um put your focus other other places than just on what others view as your own selfish needs, okay? All right, so I'm putting out the, um, four rows. First row is for you. The second is for your intended, beloved, soulmate, twin flame, karmic person, okay? The third row is the obstacles. And the fourth row is your outcome. Okay, and I will keep adding to these um, until we get a complete story. Okay. All right, so we have the emperor and the high priestess. Wow. Okay. So this is like some very, very, very strong energy right here. Where now, like, this was in reverse. You are now able, Aries, to uh, be the emperor, to focus on other other people other than yourself you are looking um, inside yourself and have done a lot of growth okay and your your love has the nine the ten of swords reversed and the two of cups reversed so uh, you may have uh, broken their heart when you were in this mode and they probably felt as if um, you know you really betrayed them and you hurt them um, they are not right now in the mood for a reconciliation at all it's not that they don't want to hear from you they these swords are now in reverse and they're falling out and they feel like they're making some progress and and healing and you know once these swords all fall out then maybe this will turn back around we'll have to go through the reading and see see where this is leading to okay so we have the king of wands and the six of pentacles all right these are your obstacles so you have to um be aware that you are not just um you know over and super passionate about this particular relationship you don't want to um just show up and be there you know 
just for you know sex or just because you miss having somebody there for you your partner is still feeling very tender even though these swords are now falling out they're not completely healed they don't want to be they don't want to feel as if you're just tossing them some crumbs they need you to be there and be committed like the emperor you're, you now are but you know you're gonna have to be patient and um, loving and kind and understanding and put yourself in their place and understand that um, you know they don't know that they have to trust that this new growth that you've found is genuine okay all right we have the six of wands and temperance in reverse so in order for you to have a successful outcome and to have this reconciliation with your partner of course you are going to have to be loving and considerate and uh, thoughtful uh, supportive kind okay you're gonna have to be more than just somebody who uh, you know calls them up if you've been drinking or sad or partying and you know you do that 4 a.m. booty call thing nobody wants nobody wants that and this is exactly how you'll make that person feel and you will make them feel as if you're only thinking about yourself and your needs okay um yes just use it take your time yep this do not go rushing into things if he's this way it means you are going to take your time don't you know just think with uh your genitalia okay think about um you know think about the true and genuine feelings and what a relationship is really and truly all about and be sure that this is exactly what you want before you do that otherwise you know just let it go and wait for something else to come into your life okay all right, I'm back in Alabama, and I've got mosquito bites. We were outside cooking out earlier. <laughs> All right. All right, so I see that in your in your column you have this tower card and tower you know I, I really love the tower card <laughs> a lot of people it looks really scary okay but it allows you you know when you were previous this little guy right here uh, when things are shaken up and you've lost everything and your mate feels betrayed um, it gives you that, that chance to um, think about things and to uh, mature and grow you know like with this full moon and um, you it's the harvest moon it's time it's time for you to show your partner that you have changed and that you are ready to rebuild on a much better and more solid and more stable foundation your partner <laughs> your partner will see that you are ready for this change and will be um, ready to uh, love you and accept you. And as long as you're patient and you're loving and you're kind, they will definitely uh, be ready for a reconciliation with you. Okay? They're going to be able to see you as the person that they always thought you were, but uh, for whatever reasons were unable to show at the time. Your outcome is the King of Cups, okay? And so I show that, uh, you know, whether you are male or female, this card represents someone who is like loving and compassionate and loyal. Um, they are caring, trustworthy. Um, they're solid in the fact that um, one of the most important things to them is is home and, and being um, emotionally supportive and loving, which is exactly what your partner needs in order to achieve this reconciliation and come back together in union with you as his lovers. Okay, so, all right. So I do see that when you continue to show your partner these things, they are going to open the lines of communication. They're going to be a little slower. They're going to come towards you in a very cautious manner. They are not wanting their heart to be broken again. They don't, they don't ever want to feel this way again. None of us do. So uh, they're just taking their time. And remember the temperance card, okay? They're taking their time. Be patient. Be patient if, uh, you know, this is the outcome that you're looking for. Okay. 
All right, so I see that in your obstacles course, that you're going to feel as if they are having a hard time uh, making a decision. They don't want to use their head, they don't want to use their heart, they just want to make the right decision. They want to be able to see um, that they are making the right decision by uh, coming back with you. They don't want to risk another tower moment. If you look at this particular phase of the moon, all right, it's the, um, the waning crescent, okay? So maybe by the time this particular phase comes along after our full moon, it would probably be closer to the end of the month, all right? You may, um, I don't know exactly what day that would be. I would think probably around the 23rd or the 24th, something like that. You would be able to um, have some kind of lines of communication open with your beloved. I see that you have the strength card in your outcome. So this outcome, uh, you know, just continue to, uh, you know, be strong, uh, steadfast, uh, hold to what you really want. If this is really and truly what you want, uh, you know, continue doing it. Uh, don't be wishy-washy. Uh, be there for each other and, and everything should... Everything should come back around the way that you're looking for it to be. I think this is wonderful. And although this is a very short reading, it is showing me that you will be back in union with your, with your love and that you will have your reconciliation and that you would be able to offer yourself not only as the King of Cups and the King of Wands, but they will also view you as the emperor. Now, where this may seem like all three of these cards are male cards, remember there's no gender in the tarot. It can be for either gender, it's just the energies and the properties that these cards represent, okay? All right, well that's your reading, short and sweet, but I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, just keep checking back here, I'll be doing more things as the month goes along. All right, you guys have a great night. Love you, bye-bye.